search up virtual box click enter click the first link oracle go down click the button that says download virtual box click on windows host it's going to be downloading so just wait for that to download 16 14 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3. okay it's finished and is it finished okay it's finished now open that up uh click yes to everything uh next next yes click yes proceed with installation yes yes i want to click everything just to download it install wait for it to boot up and it's going it's going it's going it's almost there all right it's finished good next thing you want to do is search up home assistant vdi it's important click the first one that says windows go to virtual box the one with vdi this one will take a little bit longer but uh just wait for that to download i sped up the video so it looks pretty fast but just wait for that to finish Make sure you have it on file or you know where it's downloaded right click click show more options and click um click extract all make sure you know where you want it to be located wait for it to copy and boom it's there so after you have it extracted open up virtual box click new type in a name for it like my home assistant uh use linux linux 2.6 a base memory of at least uh 300 or 3072 megabytes use at least three cpus click next uh, use an existing hard disk file and this is where you click add go to your file and search for the vdi that you downloaded earlier the extracted one click it click it click open and choose and now click finish and you want to go to audio make it intel hd go to bridged adapter for network press ok next click start wait for that to power up and it should be loading should be seeing a bunch of green okays it's loading 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 and home assistant so it's up it's going to give you an ip address type the ip address you see and press enter and it'll probably be saying it'll take up to 20 minutes but once it's finished, it should say, it'll say, create a, my own home. So fill out the name, uh, home assistant, create a password, create the account, use any location. I'm just using anything right now just to get through it to show you. Uh, click next, and this will show any devices that are on your network. And yeah, that's it. That's how you download Home Assistant Supervisor 2024. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you on the next video. Subscribe.